Baby Impus grows up, and Carter learns something about his past. This week on Ranger Chronicles. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ranger Chronicles. I am your host, as always, Charlie Niemeyer, and today we are watching two new episodes, or new to the show anyway, of Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, Olympus Ascends, and A Face from the Past. These are the first two episodes to air after the, actually it's more of a spring, early summer break, coming back at the end of August 2000 to finish off the series. So let's jump into our first episode, which we are going to do here in 3, 2, 1, go! Previously on Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. 5,000 years ago, the demons were captured, but just hours ago... Whoa, whoa, what? I have come to destroy your precious city. Someone stole the titanium morph. Oh, wow. They're combining all of it. Your body until it finally destroys you. No! You want to destroy me? Well, here I am. Diabolico! He's gone. Now, Ippus will be in charge. Previously on Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. I totally missed Ippus being in the cocoon. I mean, I figured he was when he showed up over the city, but I missed Diabolico's power putting the cocoon on him. Oi. That was actually pretty good right there. Carter just very much followed that We'll take care of the fire control. blast. You got it. Let's do it. Light speed rescue. Well, they're wasting no time getting into our first morph. Rangers. Don't worry about them. Fire. Wait, we can't. Why does she want to wait? Well, that, that did not work. Did we do it? Uh-oh. Olympus Ascends was the 17th episode of Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. It first aired on August 19, 2000, written by Judd Lynn and Jackie Marchan and directed by Ryuta Tasaki. Not noticing too many changes to the intro so far. <laughs> but that's a change. Oh, that's the star from Diabolico. Is it really that little runt Impus? I am Olympias, son of Queen Ben. Oh, Olympias. I'm I'll sorry, I was reading it wrong. Oh, you will feel my power. I'll never bow to you. That had to hurt. Oh. I guess that hurt too. Jeez. I don't think so. Dang, blessed with your own weapon. This guy's tough, but we're not down yet. Battle booster? Nope. Oh. 
Man, Carter, you were really... Man. Really getting hot-headed here. Uh-oh. Oh, something's wrong. Hey, what's going on? Oh, my prince, you mustn't use all your new powers too soon. You need time to get used to them. Come with me. I'll take care of you. We'll be back. Cool effect, though. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. But the others. Dana. Chad! Joe! Kelsey! Where are you? Uh. Oh, you didn't see that? I thought you were watching. Well done, sire. You managed to capture four rangers. Your mother will be so proud. Let us out of here! <laughs> okay. Soon the planets will be in perfect alignment. <laughs> yes, and we'll be able to give her spirit a bodily form. Welcome, Prince Olympias. Huh? Your powers are impressive for a demon so young. Yeah, not bad for a kid. Now let's destroy those rangers in the charm around your neck! Not so fast, Nokai. I have use for them first. They will allow me to infiltrate the aqua base. Oh, great idea, genius! Except the aqua base is underwater. Ever see a monster get into water? Of course not. We lose our power. Lokai. You underestimate me. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Wow. I don't remember much about Olympias. I was so young. You've got to try. Still no sign of the others. All I know is Queen Banshira gave Diabolico the star power. Her son, Impis, was next in line to receive it. It transformed him into Olympias. Which means he has as much power as Diabolico had. He's young. But once he learns how to use the star power, he'll have even more. Sir, we picked up a signal. Oh, good. It's Chad. I'm on it. Except it isn't. See, and they're not going to notice that he looks paler. Yeah, of course, no one's going to notice. No. We've got to get back to the aqua base. Oh, that's so simple. He's a monster underwater. I wonder if he's freaking out a little bit. Clean up? Should they check up on him? Yes. Our quarters are that way. Yeah, I guess that monster must have hit me harder than I thought. Infiltrated the aqua base. 
Move your army to the secret entrance. Excellent, Prince Olympius. How about some extra money? Oh, this isn't gonna go well, is it? Chad was near when the cocoon landed. Fine. I want you to send out the search parties. Two groups begin to the south, two groups to the west. We'll call for reinforcements if we need it. Let's go. I've got to keep the entry clear. Switch Rangers? Tell them to sweep the entire vicinity. made it back. Dana and Joel too. Safe and sound. Well, that's a relief. So, uh, I guess you can call off that search party now, huh? Absolutely. Now we can concentrate Wait. on Olympias. How does she know about the search party? Hey, Kels. How did you know about the search party? Well, I just assumed you'd send one out to find us. Right? Right. Oh, is he starting to figure this out? Hey! Why can't I get in? Uh, you know, you need to use your pass key. Oh. I knew uh. Wow. Uh oh, found one. <laughs> All right, I need you to double check these calculations, giving me an update by 0800. Hey, Dad. Dana, right? Dana. <laughs> I just came by to let you know that I'm okay. How about we stop in at the galley? You must be starving. Maybe later. No notice of the fact that she looks Go get some rest. really off on the face, huh? Dad. And I guess she cleaned up the mess real fast? So why is she going to go in there when a minute ago she was in the other room? <laughs> no hat? Oh, he does have the hat. Can I help you with anything, Joel? No. No, uh, don't mind me. I'm just... Uh, Wrong voice. One is some test. Oh, that worked. Okay. The entry gate is opening. It's being opened for transport. <laughs> oh. Oh, good, that worked. Hey, Carter, buddy, how's it going? Can I have my pass key back? Not my buddy. 
In fact, I don't know who you are. But you're not Joel. Now get away from my Ooh. Oh, it sounded like he just said, damn. Okay, just take it easy. <laughs> now, one last time, give me the pass card. Okay, just don't hurt her. That's it. Good point. They actually got two Rangers. He's not paying attention. <laughs> the Aqua Base is about to have a little company. Oh, oh, water! There you go. Oh, that can't be good for Carter, though. They're gone. No way. Viper's not very nice, is she? We'll see about that. Not even to the guy that's Ready? technically her leader now? Well, they are doing a very good job of blending the footage here. Is this where Ryan's gonna come in now? Oh. Oh, I guess this makes more sense now since they have the combination with the Solar Zoid. Shouldn't Ryan technically have one of those things for his sword too? I mean, you'd think that makes sense. Well, that was simple and sweet. Well, if you can call something like that sweet. From the masters. No Thank you guys are any better. <laughs> Mother Queen Vanshura will be returning soon. Hey guys. 
What's going on? Carter, there's something we need to talk about. Yeah? What's up with you letting Olympias right into the aqua base? <laughs> what? Well, I didn't mean to. I can't believe that you could do something so dumb. Well, wait a minute. It wasn't Ooh. like I just let him in. He looked just like you. Are you saying you couldn't tell me from a huge, ugly monster? Yeah, I mean, no. Wait, it's just that... Oh. Yeah, I mean, no. Are they going to push him in the water again? What was he working on, though? You better check it out. You've got to stop them. What are you doing? Same thing you're doing. Are you in here? Where's Captain Mitchell? Is the little girl still missing? You went in to find her. Jimmy! Down the hallway. Hurry now. Don't. It's too dangerous. That building's about to blow. It's okay. Go. Get back! Next, the Power Rangers Light Speed Rescue. Okay. That looks interesting. Not very Power Ranger. -y. So this Olympias is pretty cool. I like the costume. We're gonna miss Diabolico though. I enjoyed his deep voice, and that was about it. It's almost like having the main series finale halfway through the series and now queen banshara might be coming back that's cool all right so we're gonna take a quick break and i'll be right back with our second episode hi it's carter from power rangers Lightspeed rescue you know fire safety is serious business you can help your family stay safe by following these tips first never ever play with matches get together with your family and plan an escape room one that includes a safe meeting place outside remember You've got the power to be prepared when it comes to fire safety. All right, and we're back, and we're ready to start our second episode. So let's jump right into it. In three, two, one, go. Previously on Power Rangers, Light Speed Rescue. Diabolico, he's gone. Now Impus will be in charge. We'll take care of the cocoon. This Queen Banshira gave Diabolico the star power. Her son, Impus, was next in line to receive it. It transformed him into Olympias. I am now Olympias, son of Queen Banshira. Bow down before my power. Which means he has as much power as Diabolico has. Once he learns how to use the star power, I'll give him more. Previously on Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. They don't usually put it at the end of that, do they? What in the world? <laughs> Looks like I made it just in time. So, what's so urgent? We were hoping you might know. Rangers. Uh oh. He does look in a jokey I mood. I have a very important assignment for you. I want you to take a day off. <laughs> nice joke, Cam. You kidding, right? Absolutely not. Wait, what? You've all worked very hard and you deserve it. Do anything you want. Dismissed. All right, the beach. Boy, the waves are great today. Yeah, I wish I could try them. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Look at Joel. He's at it again. <laughs> really? Everyone else is at the beach and he's there. 
Does it make you wonder how warm it is? I mean, he's in full sweats. And everyone else is in bathing suits at the beach. More importantly, what are you doing here? I thought I gave you the day off. So everyone gets standard shoe, tennis shoes and everything, huh? Fine. Then how about some company? You want to train with me? Don't worry. I still got it. Uh, well... Come on. Oh! Oh. I, mean, I know we need the intro, but still. A Face from the Past was the 18th episode of Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. It first aired on August 26, 2000. Written by Jackie Marchand and Judd Lin and directed by Ryuta Tasaki. Okay. Come on, Carter. Don't go easy on me. Wow. Well, that was fun. What's next? Oh, montage footage. Nice. Just working up a little bit of a sweat. Absolutely not. You're already going too slow for me as it is. Come on. After we wipe out the city's two power stations. Okay, so it wasn't a montage. The aqua base will be left in the dark. I have complete faith in Shockatron. Are you ready? You don't think that the Rangers would have a backup power station or something? Wow. Look at that chimney. This really? Is where they made wow. Most of the electricity for Mariner Bay. Jeremy says that next time we should go on a field trip to the cookie factory. <laughs> oh, you're right, sir. You still got it. Whatever I had, I think I left it at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, I was beginning to wonder if I should call in Dana with her ambulance. Laugh it up, rookie. When I was your age, I would have left you I don't, in dust. I don't know what that thing is, but that looks kind of cool. Believe it or not, I used to train just like you. But even I took a day off every now and then. <sighs> Honestly, Carter, I've never seen anyone so driven. Why is that? Every mile I run, every drop of sweat, I... Doing it to be as good as him. As good as who? <laughs> the fireman who saved my life as a kid. I was in my room when our house caught on fire. Another flashback! He suddenly ran into rescue. Hey kid! Are you alright? <laughs> a burning board fell, but he held it up so I could escape. I never did find out who he was. That's why I trained. I want to be just like my hero. Remember, Carter. Even heroes are only human. I wonder if Captain Mitchell knows. Oh, I wonder what team plays in Mariner Bay. That's a cool, big, that's a pretty big stadium back there. Oh, but the kids! Hi. 
I think vacation day is over. He's going to change too. Sir, what are you doing? Same thing you're doing. But sir, are you sure? Let's get to it. All right. Let's go. They just happen to have extra suits there for just such an occasion. You know darn good and well he's tired. So the fact that he's doing this is pretty cool. <laughs> Thank goodness he did that pointless roll over the hood. Not sure how they knew to contact Captain Mitchell through the walkie-talkie on that particular suit, but okay. Is that the first power plant or the second power plant? They've already, oh, no, oh wait, they were already on Ethereum with fire, so that's got to be the first one. Oh look, a roadblock. Well, that did not slow them down at all. Good job, Batlings. Oh no, the bear! Stay together and stay alone. She's gonna remember and go back, right? Oh, you dumb kid. Rangers, how predictable. We're here to shut you down. That's ridiculous. You'll never stop me. Batling! See, this is what I was talking about with the uh, slight problem they have with having an American-only Ranger. They can use Sentai footage for everyone else, but he's got to have his own footage every time. Although, this is American footage, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Wow, that was incredibly simple.
Excuse me. Do you know where Captain Mitchell is? There's a little girl still missing. He went in to find her. Oh, no. He'll need backup. Don't. It's too dangerous. That building's about to blow. I've got to help him. No! Be careful. Stop! He's a Power Ranger. He'll be fine. Oh. Jenny! Jenny! It's going to be okay. Breathe in here. There you go. Come on. That's it. Help her out, dude. It's a digital effect, but it's actually a pretty good digital effect considering, you know, 2000. That's fake fire. That's not. Oh no! Captain Mitchell! Captain Mitchell! No! I don't believe it. Father? Thank goodness! Nice! Carter has figured it out. I'm glad he waited until now to do this. Sir? There's something I need to ask you. Oh no! Guys, we got big trouble. Let's do it. We're rescues on track. Ready? This is kind of cool because they were starting to use the uh, super train more, but now that they got the solar max sword, they have to max solar sword. Anyway, now that they got the new sword, they have to go back to the old one. That's kind of making it relevant again. I like it. And we still got more swords to come though. Oh, that didn't look real at all. Oh! Nice! You ever notice that they never actually squirt these things with water? They're supposed to be, like, injured by that, right? Are we destroying a monster without the Solar Sword? Wow, we are! Meanwhile, the planets are still coming into a weird alignment here. The planets will be aligned soon. The Rangers must be destroyed by the time we bring my mother back. Don't worry, Prince Olympias. Queen Bashura will return. I guarantee it! I have a plan! <laughs> Uh-oh. That can't be good. It's the plan of all plans! Yeah, you'll see! I, too, have a guarantee, Lokai. I guarantee that I won't wait to see your next plan fail. 
It's time to take matters into my own hands. Let's remember, next episode is only the 19th episode out of 40. I'm thinking it's not going to work. Or it might, I don't know. But it won't be the end of the series. I'd say you're going to survive. Just take it easy for a few days. I got it! Get going! Come on! There you go. Thank you, Miss Fairweather. Is that the hairiest chest we've seen on Power Rangers so far? Sir. It was you, wasn't it? You're the fireman who saved me when I was a kid. Yes, Carter. It was me. It's funny. I saw you looking at me as the door closed. I watched you smile. And I knew you were going to be all right. It was a great feeling. And I've been keeping an eye on you ever since. But. Watched you become a fireman. The fireman that was telling him to go while holding up the uh, beam I don't know and burning say. didn't have sideburns like that in the footage. I owe you so much. You don't owe me anything. Whatever I may have done for you, you've returned it over and over to the people that you've saved. You can count on me, sir. I'm going to train even harder than before. You know, up an hour earlier, two extra miles. Carter, trust me. We train hard enough as it is. Now get out of here. Yes, sir. Sir? You still got it. Oh, this is not. Uh oh. I got it. I got it. Oh, he doesn't have it. They're even color coordinated with their bathing suits. What are you doing here? Hey, it's my day off, too. You mean you're actually here to have fun? What? You guys think I don't know how to have fun? No. no. Uh oh. Why oh, does he just drive around in the rescue rover all the time? <laughs> He's in trouble. Oh, I see end of it. The planets are falling into a very rare alignment. This is the day they've been waiting for, and the planets align. We'll have a ceremony to bring back the queen. And if the ceremony works, Mariner Bay's history. Spellbinders' incantations have given Queen Van Shearer her bodily form. The ceremony must have started. My tidal wave will wash your city away. Then come and tidal wave! Secure all decks! Next time on Power Rangers, light speed... You notice how they have a lot of stuff in the middle that seems very much end of the series type stuff with, s with special effects and... All the stuff happening. That's kind of cool. I mean, they can't, there's no way they're going to keep that up for 20 more episodes, but it's really cool. Despite the fact that I just went into Mickey Mouse voice there at the end there. Anyway. And this, this sword still has to show up soon. In any event, I hope you all have a great week. I want to thank you all for listening. I will be back next week with two more episodes of Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. And they are The Queen's Return, I wonder what happens, and The Omega Project. I'll see you then. Thank you for listening to Ranger Chronicles. Feedback for the show can be sent to prchronicles at gmail.com. Or feel free to leave a comment on the show's posting at powerrangerchronicles.com. Ranger Chronicles is now on Patreon. If you'd like to support the show, please visit patreon.com slash rangerchronicles for more information. All images and music heard on the show are copyright the respective copyright holders and are used for entertainment purposes only. No infringement is intended. This show is dedicated to everyone, both in front of the camera and behind the scenes, who have worked to bring us Power Rangers since 1993. Ranger Chronicles is a proud member of the Toon True Freaks Internet Radio Network. 
please be sure to stop by 2TrueFreaks.com to check out more great shows. Thank you, and may the power protect you.